Welcome to another episode of Activist Stories and today we're going to be looking back at the May Day marches where workers from Paris to Turkey, from Indonesia to Cuba marched around the world for workers' rights and for an end to the exploitation of people and planet for profit. May Day has its origins in the campaign for the 8-hour working day which happened over 150 years ago and in recent years we've seen that being rapidly eroded with some workers being forced to work over 50 hours a day and others being forced onto zero-hour contracts. I attended the march in Sydney, which was one of the strongest May Day marches I've been to in years, where it had a really strong political focus on thousands of people marching through the streets of Sydney with flags flying and chanting powerfully. I think one of the reasons it had a really strong political focus compared to previous years is because it's part of the Change the Rules campaign that is happening across Australia. The Change the Rules campaign is a reaction a fight back against excessive Labour and Liberal governments that have been implementing increasingly anti-union and anti-worker laws. For instance, they're making it illegal to strike and illegal for workers to actively form and organise in a union. One crazy expression of these anti-union powers as they're constructing is that now they're even making it illegal for workers to wave the Eureka Stockade flag on building sites. And this is coming at a time where it's more important than ever to organise and unionise and fight back against attacks of penalty rates. We are seeing public service areas being understaffed such as hospitals and we're seeing workers dying on construction sites. And many more attacks have been rained down on workers, all the while corporate profits are soaring to record heights. momentum been generated by the Change the Rules campaign and the thousands of workers who've walked around Australia in the recent May Day rallies is a really great step in fighting back against these attacks. And now it's important that we keep out this momentum and use it to win key demands for workers' rights, such as reversing the cuts of penalty rates, allowing union officials to enter construction sites, and terminating zero-hour contracts, among other demands. You can read a list of 10 key demands to win workers' rights in Greenleaf Weekly and I'll post the links in the description below. To get involved in the Change the Rules campaign, you can go to the website here and sign up. I'll post links in the description below. You can also read constant coverage of the campaign in Green Left Weekly. And you can find me on social media, on Twitter, on Facebook, on my blog, etc. And I'll see you at the next rally. United. United.